hope and love. I'm Vic Nguyen in Paris, where kids outside of detention centers want kids inside them to feel when they receive their handwritten letters. Migrant children and kids who grew up around undocumented people have something in common. Jaylene Cardenas say they both understand what it means to live in fear, and that's why she's been writing letters. My goal is to make them know that everything is going to be okay and that we're on their side. Jaylene is 17 years old. She says there are many families living in Riverside County who are worried that at any moment, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents could take them away. We all been taught from a very young age about what immigration is and that not all people like are here legally. Instead of letting that fear take over, Jaylene and other kids, part of a youth group at the Todek Legal Center in Paris, created a campaign called the Letters of Love to Kids, where they meet up every month to decorate and write more than 700 handwritten letters to migrant children who were separated from their families. Mariela Gallegos supervises the youth group. It's like a proud mom moment that it came from them and from their hearts, because although right now we're living in an era where there, there's a lot of hate, um, we came together to bring love and show love. The center has delivered more than 10,000 letters to children in detention centers in Texas, Arizona, and California since they started the campaign a year ago. With all the outgoing mail, the youth group has yet to receive a reply. The children who receive the letters are often shuffled between detention centers or sent back to their home countries. I wonder if like, they feel, if they do have hope, if they do feel a tiny bit of happiness. Despite not hearing back, the act of writing a handwritten letter to children who are in need of support during their darkest times brings comfort to children at the center, like Jaylene.